In the annals of history, there exists a forgotten chapter, a story of courage and mystery. This is the tale of the Knights Templar, a once powerful order that escaped persecution, leaving an indelible mark on the world. The Knights Templar was a Catholic military order founded in the early 12th century. These fierce warriors quickly gained both power and wealth, becoming one of the most influential organizations of their time. But power comes with enemies, and the Templars had their fair share. Accused of heresy and facing persecution, the order was disbanded by Pope Clement V, and many other members were arrested, tortured, and executed. On Friday the 13th in October 1307, Jacques de Molay, their Grand Master, was arrested and the order disbanded. Templars were famously burned at the stake. Many were rounded up and slaughtered wholesale. At that time, there were thousands of Templars spread across Europe. However, there are only records of the interrogations and the fate of about 600 of them. So, what happened to the remaining members? Here is where the story takes an unexpected turn and our story begins. The Templars, an organization shrouded in secrecy, accused of heresy, faced severe persecution by the French monarchy and the Catholic Church. The Knights were being hunted down without mercy. Forced to flee, the Templars underwent a secret operation to preserve their order. Like phantoms in the night, they vanished, pursued by their relentless foes. But how did the Templars manage to escape the persecution? They relied on a vast network of secret tunnels and Templar hideouts, known as preceptories. These were scattered throughout the continent. These secret sites were safe houses, allowing the persecuted knights to regroup, hide their true identities, and plan their escape routes. Many Templars sought refuge in distant lands. Some carried across treacherous seas to safety. In Portugal, many from the order found solace under the protection of King Denis, who allowed them to establish a new stronghold. The Templars transformed themselves, dedicating their existence to safeguarding the kingdom. Renowned as expert horsemen and fierce warriors, they became a vital part of Portugal's defense against invading forces. The Knights had a strong influence in creating the Portuguese Empire and the Portuguese Age of Discovery. With the help of the Knights, Portugal played a vital part in Europe's exploration of the world between the 15th and 18th centuries. And let's not forget that prior to their demise, the Templars had established a strong presence in the Iberian Peninsula. They were instrumental in the 13th century Reconquista, liberating the area between Spain and Portugal. Legend has it that King Denis of Portugal, intrigued by the tales of the Templars' bravery and wisdom, offered them a safe haven in his realm. In fact, many argue that the founding of the Order of Christ, which eventually succeeded the Templars in Portugal, was a deliberate strategy to protect and integrate the surviving members of the original order. But the Templars did not merely fight battles. They also possessed great intellectual prowess. Within their ranks were scholars, architects, and skilled craftsmen, preserving knowledge and building magnificent structures that stand even today as a testament to their unfading influence. The Knights Templar emblem can be found on some of Portugal's most famous buildings. These include the Belém Tower and Geronimus Monastery. The Quinta de Regalia in Sintra also adorns symbolism from the Templars. It is believed Sintra's grotto and tunnels were used for the Templar rituals. As centuries passed, the memory of escaped Templars began to fade, obscured by the sands of time. The Knights Templar may have escaped persecution, but they have not vanished from history. Their spirit continues to endure, their ideals of bravery, chivalry, and honor resonating in the hearts of those who yearn for justice. Their indomitable spirit and unwavering quest for the truth etch their name into the fabric of time reminding us of their undying legacy. The Knights Templar were a force to be reckoned with, both in their time and in the annals of history. And knowing some of these legendary warriors found refuge in the beautiful land of Portugal adds another layer of intrigue to their captivating story. And who knows, perhaps if you walk through the streets of a historical Portuguese town or gaze at an intricate carving on an old church, 
you might find yourself wondering if the spirit of the Knights Templar still lingers, hidden in the shadows. I want to thank you for taking this journey with us today as we unravel the mysteries of the courageous Knights Templar and piece together their extraordinary escape to Portugal. Be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons before leaving. And until next time, take care.